Hello everybody, so this video tutorial is for the cabin crew, okay? Today I'm going to show you how to use the radio in case of pilot's incapacitation. So you might enter in the cockpit, see as bad or unconscious, and uh, you need to talk, uh, you know, of course, with the ATC. Uh, this is something that you ask me to show you sometimes when you are in, when we fly, because maybe you have the line check the day after. Uh, so now with this video, from time to time, or at least the day before your line check, you can watch the video and review the procedure okay uh, so uh, the most important things uh, uh, to know uh, once you enter in the cockpit you see the pilots are unconscious is to identify the, where is the autopilot to put the aircraft in a safe condition so uh, because it's very important the autopilot is in the middle of the panel so you cannot forget that here we go so autopilot one, ap1 ap2 we have these two buttons if you see one of these two buttons with the light green in the middle, it's okay. It means the autopilot is on. But because I shoot this video on the ground, of course, the autopilot is off and the two push buttons are not lighted. But if you enter in the cockpit and you see the push button like this, no lights, push one of the two, and then you should see the light green. And means at least the fly, the aircraft now is flying with the autopilot and is safe. If you push, it doesn't go green, push the other one uh, calmly, quietly, do it, uh, but in, in, at some point, one light should be green. Uh, and now we need to talk with the ATC, but we also need to listen. The thing is, we need to identify the loudspeaker, uh, because uh, we, need, we might need to increase the volume, because we might fly with the headset, so the volume of the loudspeaker is very low. So it's on the right side, the one of the first officer, everything I explain you now is for the first officer side, See, it's written, loudspeaker, everything is written in the copy, so you cannot mm, make a mistake. You can read the loudspeaker, see, off and max on the right. You just need to turn the knob uh, a bit more to the right, and then uh, you the volume increase. Now, let's locate the microphone. You keep looking to the right uh, after the side stick. You see, here you have the microphone. Uh, it's held there. Uh, you take it, and uh, there is a push button uh, on top, it's push to talk. That means uh, you push, you keep it pushed and you talk, and then you release, uh, and then you listen the ATC. And if you want to talk again, you push, you keep it pushed, and you talk, and then you release, and then you put it back. Uh, now, let's go to the radio, the old radio first, and then we're gonna see also the new radio. Uh, the most easy way to remember uh, how to operate is to remember the number two. So we have, the second line of push button. So we need to be sure that all the lights are on on this second line. So two, the the first officer is on number two, so it's number two. So you see, uh, you have to push the PF2. These are the push button, you see, you push this, and now it's lighted green. And then this little knob, if it's not already lighted, you push down, it pop up, and now the light, the white light is on, okay? See all the lights on the second row with the VHF2, VHF2 are on. Now it means we can talk and listen. Now we need to be sure that the uh, one to one five, the frequency, the guard frequency is uh, active. See, on the left, frequency are active. On the right, are on standby. You push the button in the middle and you transfer from the standby to the active. And now the one to one five is the active frequency all the lights on the line below the 125 on the second line are, are on and that means that if you talk you talk on the 125 and then you can also uh, listen what uh, the uh, the uh, controller is gonna tell okay now let's go uh, to see the, the new radio the concept is the same more or less it's not very different just the screen is different but on the right you have standby frequency on the left you have the active frequency uh, and to transfer uh, if it's not already active the 125 or any frequency on the left uh, to transfer you need to push this button okay push this button and the frequency from the standby move to the active side and then as we have seen with the older radio uh, you need to push the button on the second line of push buttons to be sure that uh, we are listening and speaking with that frequency. So you need to push, uh, see here, you need to push the little knob so that the light, uh, the push button becomes white uh, in, in the middle. 
and then you need to push the VH2 push button so that the light is green. Now you have the two push buttons on the second line on, uh, the 115 on the active side of the radio, and then it's okay. Now, when you talk uh, to the ATC, you need to tell them who you are. You know, we are flight, uh, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, you don't need to tell them the number of the flight that is on your roster. That is the number of the flight for passengers and for the roster. But for pilots, for the communications, we have a call sign that is different. Uh, but of course, if you don't know this number, uh, it's okay. You can still tell them the flight number, uh, the, the, the origin of where you're from, you take off, uh, where are you going? They're going to find out who you are. But it's easier and therefore faster for them, uh, so to help you, if you can tell them exactly the call sign. Where to find this information is here on the FMS. Okay, is uh, this uh, computer here? You know, we have two, doesn't matter which you're using. Okay, and the number is this one, you see, on this uh, area, XY5614. If you tell to them, see, we are flight XY5614, it's easier for them to find you around the world, uh, in the area. Uh, where, but, okay, uh, the point is that sometimes you might uh, look at the FMS and maybe you have this page. And so, where is the number? You know, how can we make the FMS tell us this number, show us this number? So, you see, we have two lines of push button, the first two lines of push button, forget about all the other. If you keep pushing randomly this push button, one after the other, don't worry, nothing's gonna happen, you are not activating anything, it's just to show pages of the FMS. At some point, you might see this number, you see? Uh, so, if you don't remember which page it is, because you might not, just remember to push this button, the first two lines, until you see this number. There are only two pages that actually show this number. One is this, CFPLN, is this one, or PROG. It's a bit bigger. But you don't need to remember. As I say, just push these buttons until you see this number. And then somebody is going to tell you now what to do. So. Descend to 10,000 feet, uh, turn right, reduce the speed. At some point, they're going to ask you to land the aircraft. The aircraft land automatically. You just need to push some buttons, set the flap, the gear. Now, how to do this? I want to make another tutorial later on, just to give you the most essential, essential information about how to land the aircraft. Because the, the, the controller, at some point, they're going to ask a pilot to get into the tower and tell you, you know, okay, now you need to reduce the speed. So where is the knob to reduce the speed? You know, where is the flap lever, the gear lever? I'm going to make a short tutorial also about that. But for today, I think it's enough just to uh, learn how to use the radio, how to communicate to the ATC, so that you can also pass much easier your line check. Okay, ciao and see you soon.